Imagine a world where light not only serves the purpose of brightening our way, but also transmits data and information, as well as measuring the quality of the air around us. Each of these applications exists in an individual way. Fiber optics connect us to the internet thanks to light, and spectrography measures the quality of the air that we breathe. Thanks to the research of Professor Bress in the field of mid-infrared radiation, it may be possible to create one single ultra-high-performance device capable of generating lasers for all sorts of applications, from the destruction of diseased cells to telecommunications. A kind of Swiss Army knife for lasers. Le laser étant focalisé, With the laser focused sharply, if somebody puts themselves in the way to intercept it, the receiver knows immediately that the connection is cut. Whereas in the case of radio waves, hackers can intercept the code and decrypt it using a simple aerial. Mid-infrared is a range of the spectrum that is creating a lot of interest, simply because there are a lot of applications that can benefit from these wavelengths. For example, molecules and pollutants are very sensitive to mid-infrared, which can detect them with a high level of accuracy. We would like to have a source capable of sending information, and on the other side, to be able to sweep through the spectrum in order to detect pollutants with a high level of sensitivity. We can then imagine that we have this tool in the form of a box on the roof of a building, and it can detect pollutants, and at the same time, is able to send the information from building to building in a targeted way, with high rates of information transfer without sending radiation out into the environment. We can imagine light as a series of waves sent out into space. If you throw a stone in the water, you will see a series of concentric circles emanating from the point of impact. A laser is somewhat like that, but in this case, you throw the stone into a canal. The waves are guided and cannot broadcast themselves in all directions. The idea then is to mix two colors which are already available to make a third in the mid-infrared. It's like paint, you don't have any green, but with yellow and blue, you can always mix them together to get the color you want. Whether in the field of medicine, telecommunications, or in the detection of pollutants, the research of Professor Bress in the mid-infrared may revolutionize the world of laser devices.